Hi, this is Dr. Emmanuel Daniel, Faculty of Social Work from Kumaruguru College of Liberal Arts and Science, Kwambitu. Today, we're going to talk about ISO 14000. ISO 14000 is one of the Environmental Management Certifications, and ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. So this is the synopsis for our presentation. I'll be giving you an introduction, followed by overview of ISO 14000, some core elements, PDSA methodology, ISO 14000 family, and importance of ISO 14000. Sometime back, I went through this quote and I found a lot of meaning in it. The quote goes this way. We are clearly the last generation that can change the course of climate change but we are also the first generation with its consequences was once told by the CEO of the World Bank in the year 2019. Before we discuss further on this, I would like to, this, I would like to tell you what happened a couple of years back in a particular forum. I was talking about water crisis and I was just telling them, you know, I'm so scared on what our children are going to do, you know, after 50 years or 40 years. Suddenly, a human rights activist stopped me and he said, don't worry about your children. First, worry about yourself. He said, in another 10 years time, there'll be a lot of water crisis. There'll be water crisis. So what are you gonna do? And I did not have answer for that. It made me think a lot. I reflected over and over again. The World Economic Forum again tells there are five types of risks which are expected in another 10 years time. They are weapons of mass destruction, extreme weather events, natural disasters, climate change, and water crisis. Now, as an individual, I have a lot of roles to play. As a community, as a society, or as a corporate or a business, we have a lot of roles to play in addressing this. Considering this, ISO 14000 has come up with a series of certifications. ISO 14000 doesn't say, you know, when you complete an evaluation, we will certify you. No, they don't go that way. They sort of design, implement, and optimization of EMS. So they do this, they do all these things. They handhold you, they partner with you. There are organizations and businesses of any sort can be certified by this particular program, of ISO 14000. There are over 3 lakh organizations from 171 countries across the globe are being certified by this particular organization. So these are the core elements starting from the environmental policy. Here, the business objective and the product and the procedure is in line with the environmental policy, which means EMS is given a lot of weightage and importance in corporates. The businesses cannot manufacture any product which will harm the environment, which will bring disgrace to the environment. Talking about environmental policy, for example, Industries cannot afford to manufacture two-stroke vehicles anymore. The next one is planning. Any business or corporate would love to spend a lot of time in planning so that the end result is perfect. So here, again, ISO 14000 helps organizations to plan, to have an adequate plan before they implement their EMS. The next one is the implementation. After planning, ISO 14000, you know, they don't say, you know, hello boss, we're done with our planning, so we're moving on. No, they stand with you, they enable you to implement the program. The next one is study and correct. During implementation, anybody can go wrong, even experts can go wrong. So here, they help you to study and correct where you have gone wrong, or to even identify the gaps and to patch it up. The next one is management review. Management review is done by the management, not by the uh, certifying body or not by the implementers. Management review has got its own say because the management was involved when the environmental policies were designed. So that is where they derived the objectives for the business. 
So management will see it from a different lens or a different perspective. The next one, when you implement all those things, it becomes a continuous improvement. You keep improving. You are not satisfied. You keep improving over and over again on a yearly basis or a monthly basis, something like that. So this is the model in which you know the, the EMS is implemented. So you will plan. You will spend a lot of time in planning. You will do that is that implementation. After implementation, you study where you went right, where you went wrong, then you act accordingly. If there is something wrong, then you plan and immediately you patch it up. So you take it forward in that way. So this, this is the ISO 14,000 family. As I said earlier, ISO 14,000 is not a certificate. It is a series of certification. It goes this way, ISO 14,004, general guidelines on principles, systems and support techniques. The next one is ISO 14006, talks about guidelines for incorporating eco-design. ISO 14015 talks about the environmental assessment of sites and organizations. ISO 14020 talks about the environmental labels and declarations. ISO 14031 talks about the environmental performance evaluation. ISO 14040 talks about the life cycle assessment. ISO 14050 talks about vocabularies. ISO 14063 talks about the environmental communication. ISO 14064 talks about greenhouse gases and ISO 19011 talks about the guidelines for auditing management systems. So the importance of ISO 14000, how important is it for an organization? It helps us to reduce the risks which are involved. Any processes in a business can involve risks, be it your finance, be it your management, administration, sales, marketing, production, environment, anything for that matter. So this particular certification sort of enables you to reduce the risk. For example, if you are manufacturing, and if that product is going to harm the people, they are not going to, they are not going to manufacture it, but they are going to discontinue that and identify and understand what product suits the environment, what product suits the people better. The next one is leading by example. Through this certification, we become role models. We become models for the business community. Anybody who are into business would always love to be noticed, would love to stay number one in the society or in the, in the community. So leading by example. So when you implement all these things, people around you, your competitors will love to adopt your policies. The next one is tax incentives. In countries like United States of America, you get a lot of tax exemption when you have this particular certification because the country feels that you are taking care of the environment. Maybe in India, there are no tax exemptions but however, these particular certifications sort of uh, gives you the message telling that you are for the environment. So this gives a message to the government telling that, you know, no need for too much of supervision, so on and so forth. The next one is employees. This is a very important aspect. Here, when an employee works in a particular corporate and uh, when he adopts that culture, he will only take the good things and he will pass it on to his community. He'll pass it on to this household. So employees matters a lot. So if, a, if an employee is falling in love with his organization, with his work, with the environment, which means, you know, he is satisfied to the core. So here employees are very important as per ISO 14,000 and they will only create a good name around the, around the community. The next one is brand image. Today, every corporate who works loves to be noticed. They would like to stay on top so the brand image also matters a lot so many companies have even have a separate department for branding but this particular certification gives you you know that sort of brand image that you are for the environment so people when they are ready to buy your product they will feel okay as this person is for the environment he will also give his best when it comes to the products the next one is renewable and non-renewable resources when we really do not know, you know, when we talk about petroleum and other products, we don't know how far we will be able to get that product. 
So here they come with ideas, they come with strategies on the minimal use of resources and maximum output so that you know the product is available so that they don't forget the component of sustainability. So these are some of the important factors uh, you know uh, when we have the certification we will have all we will have all these things. So uh, thank you so much for having uh, taken your time to listen to this presentation. So if you have any clarifications, please please feel free to reach me or if you want to discuss further, please feel free to write to me in my mail or to reach me you know in my LinkedIn. Thank you so much.